I wake up to all these Lord Harvey fans on my ass. Talk about I'm hating on Lord. What I what I won't hate on Lord for? I just say y'all got it fucked up saying that's goals. If you saying that's goals, that means you want your daughter to fuck seven or eight, nine niggas in a couple months in the industry. If that's goals, if that's cool with you for your daughter doing that, then I can't say shit. But what's wrong with y'all motherfuckers is y'all salute the woman who get passed around. But y'all dog the woman who stick by they nigga when they nigga fuck over. Y'all dog the real bitches who stick by they nigga. You heard me? But y'all salute the bitches who go from hand to hand. The world fucked up. But the woman who stick by her nigga, find her one nigga, find her one celebrity that stick by that nigga, she stupid. The world fucked up. I'm just a speaker. The world fucked up. Don Peoples, dead boat. Let's talk about it. So now we got my boy Boosie back in the news. And first, man, let me salute Boosie Badass, man, because for real, he is spitting a truth that I think everybody needed to hear and, and everybody should have dissected. Um, There's a fine line, man, between a good girl and a bad girl. Dating and serial dating. Um, I think what Lori Harvey has now got herself caught into is a spiral effect of serial dating getting passed around, you know, from different people in the industry, um, you know, being rumored to be with all these different men. It makes you wonder what does Steve Harvey honestly feel about it? It kind of makes me wonder about back when, uh, Lawrence Fishburne and his daughter, even though it was kind of a different situation, I, I don't know, you know, obviously his daughter did porn, right, uh, with Brian Pumper of all people, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I digress. But Laura Harvey is now in a situation to where the spotlight is on her, not for something good, but for something quite bad. She's being labeled a little bit of a whore at this point. And Boosie just wanted to bring it to the you know the people's attention because he feels that a person that's doing what she's doing shouldn't get glorified. Now, I gotta agree with him. I think it's a lot of things that Boosie has been standing up for that don't really get brought to the light like they should, you know. Like when he stood up and spoke about, you know, how Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union was doing that boy, you know, with Dwayne, you know, his son and, you know, speaking on that issue. And, you know, even though Boosie has his flaws, I mean, Boosie said that once upon a time he got his son some pussy from a stripper. But I don't think that, you know, that's just, you know, that could have just been for shock value, clickbait, you know, whatever. We, we don't have any allegations of that because you know why the son never came forward. And the girl never came forward. So, you know, Boosie said it and nobody else backed it up, confirmed or did anything else. So that's allegedly a rumor. But um, when it comes to, you know, publicly being out here, you know, even though Lori Harvey is not Steve Harvey's biological, she does carry his name. But, you know, at the same time, man, if you look at Steve Harvey in his past, you know, of how he did his wife, you know, back when he was sleeping in cars and trying to make it. And, you know, how his wife kind of left him. I mean, I'm sorry, I apologize. His wife didn't leave him. He left his wife for Lori Harvey's mama. You know, she came in with her little bad little outfit on, probably looking all scrumptious. And, you know, he made that famous simp line on the stage uh, saying, I don't know if she know it yet. But I'm going to marry that woman. Like you gave that famous speech. And now look what you got. You got a situation to where you being put out there 
for the people now to pick you apart, judge your parenting skills. What type of advice are you giving her? But, you know, a lot of things, if y'all know that Steve Harvey ain't got his show no more. You know, it's a lot of things going on <clears throat> behind the scenes with Steve Harvey. He might have pissed some people off. Maybe this is a way of him getting back into the good graces by pimping his daughter out to the industry. Because Boosie makes a good point. She's definitely being passed around. Um, Even though, you know, and not just being passed around. I think what he's trying to stop is the glorification of these women who want to be passed around throughout the industry. And people are saying, oh, these are goals and this is what we want. This fake ass Instagram online shit has no substance. She's probably sitting there laying next to Michael B like, okay, my 15 minutes is up. So I feel that we should all take note of this and understand that. Yeah, I understand also, right, that another man's trash is somebody's treasure, right? But at the same time, she's been with a lot of these dudes within a year, year and a half span. So even though she's in the public light and that's why her dating is front and center, you know, it's still one of those things. Once you see that you're getting passed around and sometimes you got to just pump your brakes and check yourself and kind of see like, okay, maybe I got the problem or maybe I need to slow down because it ain't about the money, right? It shouldn't be about the fame because your daddy is rich. Your daddy is well known. So I understand now, you know, you being with Michael B. Jordan. Now he's one of the more famous black actors in the industry now. Um, I just think he's having fun. You know, I, I think she's somebody to, you know, have fun with. And I think that's all it is. I don't feel like this is something that's going to lead to more than that. Um, and once he's done with her, you know, she'll go on to the next. Because one thing about these industry chicks, they can't date regular dudes. You know, they can't date the master plumber or the the general electrician or the, the, the contractor or, you know, they want to have somebody that's in the industry. They want to have somebody that's, you know, famous, has a name about himself, some clout, <laughs> you know what I mean? So she's going to continue to chase these type of people in the industry. So as she's chasing, she's also leaving a shit trail. Dirty tampons and shit everywhere. You know, so now Boosie commenting on that is really just trying to let you women know that everybody, regular dudes, famous dudes, nobody wants to wife a runner. Nobody wants to wife a hoe. See, a man will play with a hoe, but he ain't bringing no hoe home to mama. So as you can see how Lori Harvey is being extorted throughout the industry, you got to ask yourself that question. Will she ever get brought home to mama? Will Mrs. B. Jordan get to meet Lori Harvey? She'll probably say, bring Steve over. <laughs> she want to meet Steve Harvey. But, you know, on, on all seriousness, though, women, young ladies, queens, y'all need to take note. Um, Boosie's definitely speaking up. I love the fact that he speaks up on these type of issues, even though he catches a lot of backlash about it. Um, we definitely riding with you on this one, Boosie. So y'all get in the comment section, man. I definitely want to hear what y'all feel about this, man. Is Boosie wrong for his response? against Lori and, and saying what he said, being hurt, being passed around the industry. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all get on this wave, man. Dead boat, gone.